Well, listen, this, this is my thought. I think Colin Murray could have been greatly benefited from having a guy like Sean Payton. Sean Payton is not taking any crap. You know, you. I just think that, you know, the Cardinals set them up, set themselves up for failure uh, with Cliff Kingsbury because he required that if I'm taking this job, you're going to draft Kyler Murray. We just jo- we just drafted Josh Rosen number nine last year. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, you want me trade him and get me Kyler Murray? I can make that work. They acquiesced to it, and it didn't work out because there wasn't the respect factor that was necessary, you know, and I'm not saying this is someone who didn't watch it. You can watch the game and see the interaction between the head coach and the player, the play call and the player, and some of the things that were said and understand that the respect factor wasn't there. There's a reason why you're the coach and you're the player. Okay. And the Cardinals put themselves in position again by signing Carla Murray to a deal where he forced the forced their hand And how do you rein that in? How do you go and bring in a coach who is going to put down the gavel and say, this is how we're going to do things. You're not going to run the ship. You're going to part of, you're going to be a part of why the ship runs efficiently because my staff is going to put you in position to make the most effective um, decisions. Um, I, I just don't know that Jonathan Gannon is the guy to get that done. And if if he is, I'd be amazed to see it. Mm. Um, it's going to be real interesting to watch this this relationship, you know, over the next couple of years to see how it develops. Um, I, I don't know, Brad. I, I just, you know, I, I I'm for anybody who can advance in this world to advance in this world. But when I think about coaching and I look at certain players and I realize what they need. I've been around this game a long time. Yeah. Colin Murray needs someone strong, strong will, someone that he respects, someone that he's someone that's proven, not someone that's still just trying to prove themselves at being the best at what they do. He needs someone that can, that can put on the game film and say, Hey, listen, this is my system. This works. This works because, you know, I've been to a Super Bowl before. This works because, you know, this Hall of Famer, this Hall of Famer, and I coach that Hall of Famer, okay? Where you're trying to go, I've already taken people there, you know? So you need a guy like that with a guy like Kyle Murray. Not that he can't do it, you know? He's not accomplishing it because, you know, he thinks that he has all the answers. That's dangerous for a guy, you know, who's supposed to be the fra- face of your franchise. You know, if he can't humble himself and be one of the guys and realize that he's part of the problem as well as sometimes being part of the solution, then you got problems on your hand. Point blank, can Jonathan Gannon get it done here in Arizona with Kyler Murray from your view? I'm going to give Jonathan Gannon the benefit of the doubt. But if I was leaning one way or the other, I would say I would lean towards the fact that I believe um, that he cannot get it done under the circumstances of where the Cardinals are and what they need to do long-term in order to fix this. This might not be, Brad, a two, three-year fix, even in the modern era of, you know, free agency. Right, um, right. A guy right. like you, when, when you got a superstar, you got a superstar wide receiver like DeAndre Hopkins that wants out, okay? That's telling. That's pretty telling. Um, especially, you know, when he's got a quarterback that's going to feed him 15 targets a game. He may go somewhere where he might only get seven or eight. But when a guy like that wants out, you know, he also realizes it's going to take time. And he knows that he's on the back the back nine of his career, and he wants to get somewhere, you know, where he can be, have an opportunity to, to compete. Um, and I just believe it's a long-term fix. And I'm going to find it hard to believe. I'm just going to say it. I find it hard to believe that Jonathan Gannon is the answer. As always, I appreciate your time and your insights, Seth. Thanks. You got it, my friend.